Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, I was approached by a very perceptive young lady with, uh, with respect to a verse in the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 13, uh, where it says that uh, this is the law of the Nazir, uh, on the day his abstinence is completed. A Nazir, uh, usually translated in English Bibles as a Nazarite, uh, as opposed to a Nazarene. A Nazarite, this is someone who takes upon uh, himself certain vows to abstain from certain things. He doesn't cut his hair, he doesn't engage in sexual relation, he doesn't uh, uh, drink wine, anything made from grapes, any raisins, intoxicants, he, uh, and it's for a limited period. Uh, there are some exceptions for people who are lifelong um, Nazarene, uh, Nazarene, I'm, I'm not going to get into that, but it's usually for a period of time. Let's for fun say it's one year. At the end of this one year of being a Nazir, um, the, uh, the Nazir brings uh, a korban, a sacrifice. And the very perceptive young lady says, why uh, is a Nazir bringing a sin sacrifice, a korban hatas? Um, He's done nothing but observe the laws of the Nazir, uh, and it should be something uh, that he should be uh, honored for, not uh, bring a korban chattas, like he's done something wrong. What, what's the deal here? Well, um, the person who is a Nazir, who's on a lofty spiritual plane, um, may appear to others to be withdrawing himself from life, withdrawing himself from God and the pleasures that, God's, uh, that God allows us. And um, it might look to others that he is distancing himself from God and distancing himself from uh, Torah and mitzvahs and commandments and observance. So because of this false appearance, he brings a sin offering, a, a korban hatas. Um, appearances matter. And it was Rabbeinu Bachia who explains that since it appears that the Nazir is distancing himself from God, he must bring a korban hatas. Not because he actually did anything, but because it may look to someone else as if he did something Wrong. In actual fact, the, the Nazir is merely returning to his original state. But perception is what counts. Um, if a person is perceived as faltering in a spiritual progression, he offers this uh, Corbin. Appearances are significant in regards to spiritual matters. I think I'm going to be doing a video on the, uh, the halakhic concept of uh, maras ayn, uh, something which uh, appears to the eye. In other words, you're doing something completely kosher, but it doesn't look good. And um, because it doesn't look good, you're not you're not supposed to do it. You're you're not you don't do it. Uh, I'll get uh, yeah. I'm gonna do a video on this one. Um, but um, with respect to um, the Nazir and to the very perceptive young lady's question, very good question. Um, I think I'm gonna go with um, with Rabino Bachia, and it says regardless of the fact that this person has led an exemplary uh, period of time as an Azir, and has done everything perfectly correctly. Because it doesn't look good, he brings a Corbin Hatas. Uh, we're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope they're of benefit to you. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.